Hello there guys, Ryder VM here, and today I'm gonna be casually playing Golden Axe 2 for the Sega Mega Drive or Genesis, depending on your region. So anyway, yeah, this is another casual playthrough. I have decided to play all three Golden Axe games for the Sega Genesis just to reminisce about the past, because I actually like this game, although, you know, when I got older, I kind of realized that the game is kind of basic. Even compa in comparison to the first popular beat'em up like Final Fight. So yeah, let's go! Also, if I don't- I'm not sure, but I think uh, I should put the difficulty to hard because um, I think you won't be able to see the ending of the game if you go normal or especially easy. I know about easy. So let's try hard. So anyway, yeah, again, I'm gonna use Tears Flare. Yeah, one of the biggest improvements in part 2 is that, yeah, that throw, you can now throw enemies and if the enemy is there, Can see that there is now damage. You can now, when you throw an enemy and there is an enemy in the direction of your throw, yeah. So yeah, although the game is quite similar to the first game, there are some minor improvements, like the aforementioned throwing difference. Yeah, that first level besides some very minor hiccups seems to have gone pretty well. Yeah, the dwarves have been changed by this magician things. We decided to start for the ancient ruins.
come on. Yeah, things aren't going so well right now. Don't want it, but okay. Man, things are not so good right now. <laughs> Ruins as a base. We have destroyed it, and now we leave for the enemy's headquarters. Skeletons really are the most annoying enemies in Golden Axe games.
reach the enemy's castle, which is blocked by high mountain, we reluctantly decide to march through the cave called Dragon's Throat. Yeah, again, the AI of the game seems to be, like, pretty similar to the first game. You know, they just go on a straight line to your character. So if there are pitfalls in there, you could actually set them up so that... Also take note that you could also fall in those pits, so yeah, you need to be more careful.
Okay, surprisingly, that level went really, really well. Yeah, I'm gonna get the food first. The magic isn't really high priority. We have passed through the long red hot cave and found the castle gate standing in front of us. Yeah, surprisingly the levels again, the level the count I guess the numbers levels is pretty similar to the first game. Reminds me, there are no more enemy female enemies in this game. Interesting. Now that kind of makes me sad. Looks like the lizard man is the, the, the replacement for the female enemies in Golden in Golden Axe 2. That kind of makes me sad. Uh, the whole enemy side has no females. They think. Yeah. That was accident. That was an accident. I'm not supposed to use this. Uh, but okay, whatever, dude. I don't like to use this because, well, it's awkward to use. Uh, the attack will first hit on your character's back. Then your character turns around. So yeah, so you really need to position yourself at the literal back of your enemy. cheated me of some sort. I am not supposed to fall into the abyss from that position. How in the world did that happen? That's kind of unfair.
Our enemy Dark Gold must be in this castle. Now take courage, the real battle has just started. Yeah, I think if you're on the lower difficulty level, the game ends on that point. And this is the beginning of the final level. Yeah, and this guy at least can legitimately fight compared to the dwarves in the first game. Then it got thrown. Yeah, again, another pitfall. Another pitfall to throw the enemies in. The guy still fell. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, sorry. I hit the mic. Oh, come on. Ranged them.
Wow, that final boss fight went pretty darn well, in my opinion. Surprisingly, that run was pretty darn fast, and looking at the time that we took to finish the game, it was pretty darn similar to the first games, to my first game's playthrough. So anyway, yeah, again, yeah, it was fun and short, so anyway, this is Rider VM, but certainly, yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna interrupt it. I think, yeah, in comparison to the massive uh, improvements between Streets of Rage 1 and 2, the changes in Golden Axe 1 and 2 is basically almost minimal. Of course, there are some bug fixes here and there, like crows being able to be used against other enemies. As well as, but besides that, um, besides some you know aesthetic changes to our characters, um, more I guess more streamlined hitting animations. To be honest, the game feels almost like a reskin of Golden Axe 1. Whether that's good or bad is really up to you. So anyway, yeah, uh, this ends the playthrough, my casual playthrough, for Golden Axe 2. If you have enjoyed this video, you're welcome to press that like button, or perhaps even subscribe to my channel. And next time, I will be playing what people consider to be the worst game of the tree, Golden Axe 3. Which, for me, um, yeah, I'll do my opinions of that while we play that game next time. So anyway, this is Rider VM, and I hope that I will still see you guys in another video.